Hello and welcome to the tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to integrate Serilog file logging in ASP.NET Core 8.0. So we will start by creating a new project of type ASP.NET Core Web App and we will name it as Serilog Demo 2 and we will click on create and we will keep as it is the version of dotnet which is the latest version which is dotnet 8.0 and click on create so this will create a new project for us and we can check by running this project so you see our project is working is running correct in fine now Integrating serial log is very easy and it's simple. So first we will have to manage the NuGet packages. We have to install NuGet packages and we will require two NuGet packages. First one is serial log dot ASP dot net core. We will install the NuGet package and there is another one which is serialog.sync.file because in this tutorial we will be using file logging right so so the next step is to register serialog in program.cs file so I'll open program.cs file and here paste this code okay so I'll provide this code in the video description you can copy it from there easily I'll click right click here to add the namespace which is serial log okay so the last step is to add serial log here in the controller so you'll see you, uh, the first step is uh, you have to create an object of iLogger class and you will pass the object in the constructor of this class so Microsoft has already done this we don't have to do anything just we will add an try catch block here and with the help of this object log error we can add log any kind of error okay uh, and here we will throw an exception explicitly all right uh, there is one thing which is left and that is to add the path of the logging where we want these logs to be stored so in the app settings.json file we will add the path of logging I'll paste this piece of code here and don't worry I will also provide all this text in the description of this video so here d logs api logs fine okay so now we will place a debugger here and then we will run this project As you know that by default it picks up the index method so it's here and you see the exception has been caught and the error has been logged so we'll go to our D drive and we'll see if this error message has been logged or not 
So you see, this was the path that I mentioned in the appsetting.json file. And here you can see the log has been stored. And this is the log. This is the error log that has been stored. So this is how you can easily implement city log file logging in your project. Okay. So there is another thing which I want to tell you is that you can set up the minimum level of logging here also in this appsetting.json file like if you for example you want to log information messages so or debug level messages so you can uh, mention here as debug or information so that's all you can and if you if you'll mention here the default level as information then in the controller you can log information it will allow you to log information messages as well so this is how you can set the level of logging as well in the app setting dot json file and here down below you can set the name of your logging file you can set a, set the rolling interval as day month or year you can uh, because in, uh, as of now it is set to day so it will be refreshed or uh, on our each day it will create a new file and down below there is an output template which sets the overall template of uh, how your message is stored here in this uh, in this file so this formatting is uh, is done is configured by this output template line so you can play with it and you can uh, easily change it according to your need So thank you so much for watching and subscribe to my channel for more such amazing content.